All right, what we have is a disgusting Squire jazz bass five string. I kind of picked this up on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace for a good deal, but man, does this thing have some issues. I'm seeing a lot of rust, a lot of dirt, grime, rut, and just a bunch of nastiness. I think this has been, yeah, th the guy I bought it from said that it was in, sitting in a garage for, I don't know, he didn't say how many years, but it probably seems like several. So it's just kind of been collecting dust, has gotten a couple of spider webs. I think there's a dead spider blow on the bridge. It's just, it's just kind of gross. So I'm just gonna take everything apart, clean it up, and uh, see if I can get it back into good working condition. So here we go. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? It looks like the shaft came out when I pulled up on the pot. Well, I guess I gotta be replacing that. That should be fun. All right, I just took out the pot. I had the broken shaft here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Just took this out, desoldered everything, and put in this 250K 
pot that I had from, I don't know, storage for a while. So I just installed it. Now let's uh, put everything back together. if I can uh, make sure this is all working. like everything is working. Okay. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go and clean up the bridge a little bit. Probably clean up the tuners. And um, see if we can put all those back on. Be right back. All right, we're back. Kinda clean this bridge up a little bit. There's still some rust on there, some dust, but um, just cleaned it up with some good old soap and water and dried it out real quick so there's no dust and grime from, from what it looked like from previously, so it's a lot better though. We'll work on the fretboard. Okay, so now we're gonna clean up the neck a little bit. Um, these frets are pretty dull and kind of gross. They're definitely gonna need some some cleaning. So uh, before I get to the actual fretboard, I like to address the the issue here with the actual frets. So what I'm going to use is just some masking tape so I can tape over some of the frets and uh, protect them while I use the wool to clean them up. So I'll just kind of do that. So I'll tape it off like this and then you notice I have a little piece of paper right in here. That's because I'm going to be using some steel wool here. I'm going to be <laughs> rubbing it and some of the steel wool will, will kind of just flake off and fall on here. So it'd be easier for cleanup. So all I really do is let's see if I can. So I'll just take this and just kind of rub it over a couple of times until it's nice and shiny. Man, this thing is dirty. So I was taking a couple of passes to, to get it clean. So if you can kind of tell, you 
kind of see the the shine compared to see that for that's real gross and then if you look over here it's nice and shiny so what I'm gonna do is just go up and down and clean up as much as I could or as much as I can Take a look. Quite shiny. Okay. I'm gonna vacuum up a little bit more clean up my little space and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean the actual front board and then oil it up with some lemon oil so we can get that shine on there all right clean up the space a little bit uh, remove more of the uh, the metal shavings from the steel wool and now I'm going to polish up the fretboard so um, I'm just using some guitar polish. I've had this for years. I hadn't even used all of it yet, but I'm just going to spray some of that all over the fretboard. Just kind of let it sit for a little bit. start rubbing down the fretboard. Okay, now it's uh, it's cleaner. You can kind of tell it's a bit shinier from before, but um, now I'm gonna put on some lemon oil to treat it a bit and uh, to make it really shine with this stuff. Okay, we'll just let it sit and dry. Until then, I'm gonna install the tuners back on. Okay, now we got the fretboard cleaned up. We're gonna install the, the tuners back on. So what we did was we took everything off, we cleaned the body, probably got to clean it again. Uh, cleaned up all the gunk and nonsense, cleaned up the bridge. Um, then we put everything back. I had to change out the volume pickup for the bridge. Um, cleaned everything up here. Uh, and I put, that, put back 
the bridge, put the electronics back, put the pickups back, and then obviously clean the frets and the fretboard. Uh, took these off and cleaned them all and then put them back on. So really, that's just a bunch of cleanup really is what it is. But now that everything is in tune, intonated, the action set, I'll have to set the pickup height. And uh, I think it should be ready to play. Thank mm -hmm. you. 